Big Red came stampeding out of the tunnel with everything to play for. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Onside kick. Huskers recover. But the offense could do nothing with it. In fact, they managed zero first downs in the first quarter. It was 10-0 buffs before you could blink. One, they forced us to have to beat them with the pass. You could tell that was their game plan. And uh, able, we weren't able to make enough plays in the passing game. But Colorado had no problems. Backed up in their own end, they handed things off to Bobby Purify and rang up a 17-0 lead. We thought, uh, you know, the long drives hurt us. You know, we had them backed up and we had them pinned in the hole and we let them out. You know, that's what I thought early in the first half uh, really made the difference. <laughs> they, just ran, they ran the ball. They had a zone scheme, you know, blocking, blocking to the left, blocking to the right, the whole line, you know, and letting the athletic back, you know, cut in which direction that, that, he, that, he, that he wanted to. The black shirts then stiffened. Gave the ball back to the offense, which embarked on a five-minute drive, capped off by Joe Daly's collision at the goal line. Touchdown, Huskers. The Bucs offense officially moved right back down the field, kicked three more, and took a 22-7 lead into the locker room. Yeah, they got a balanced offense, good running game, good passing game. They made the good decisions. But Joe Daly continued to make poor decisions. With six minutes to play, he threw interception number four. Anytime you got turnovers, you know, it doesn't matter when they happen or where they happen. They're, they're you know, they're devastating the team. And uh, we had some bad ones today. You know. It was 26 to 7. Some fans had lost faith. Others had left. But that's when the offense began to find its rhythm. Yeah. I felt, I felt that they did, especially the two-minute drill. That was fun, but, you know, it happens. Nebraska scored two touchdowns in the span of two and a half minutes, but when this onside kick was recovered, it was time for the Buffaloes to do their victory dance. Uh, and at the end, we scrambled to try to put ourselves in position to win, and we, we fell short. The Buffaloes tried to stampede and stamp out the Huskers, but... Big Red teased us with two fourth quarter touchdowns and a comeback that eventually fell short. This game was lost in the early going. Just 11 yards of offense for Big Red in the first quarter. For the game, Colorado had a time of possession edge of 12 minutes. That meant the black shirts were on the field just a bit too long. Add in five turnovers, and you had a recipe for disaster. So the Huskers end the season at five and six. No bowl game. And it seems like bizarro world here at Memorial Stadium. From Lincoln, Jeff Radcliffe, KPTM, Fox 42 Sports.